So, it's like 9 a.m. and I'm having to rush up to the mattress store because the AT&T phone repair guy's there. We told him we didn't know until 11, but the repair guy called us on our cell phone. I was like, I'm at your store. Normally, I'd still just be a barely, I wouldn't even be awake yet. It'd be like 30 more minutes before I even started to get out of bed. So, I'm almost to the mattress store. They ask you like, what time do you guys open or whatever. Amanda told him we open at 11. It's 9.23 right now. The guy's been waiting up here about 20 minutes. I sure hope he's still here when I get here. My stolen wallet came back to haunt me because the card that was on auto bill for our internet was my stolen card. So a few days ago, on, on a Saturday, they started to cut off the internet. So the DNS server started to change. Some websites didn't work anymore. We were able to get through the weekend and uh, still use QuickBooks and do the things we need to do. But the worst part about it is that we, we could not pay our bill over the weekend because you can't pay online without a PIN number you set up when you create your account. And it's been like four years and that PIN number was long gone. No one knew it. So you could not get a human on the phone until business hours, Monday. It wasn't until yesterday that the internet was turned back on. But as soon as the internet was turned back on, we realized our main phone line was off. Now the fax line still works, but the main phone line doesn't work. It could be something with our own phone system or whatever. But anyway, I gotta meet this phone guy up here. All because my wallet got stolen. That's the real, that's the real. That is the real. The phone guy was like, well, it looks like y'all left a phone off the hook. But they tried everything last night, so who knows. I know I'm always talking about the speed traps around here. I just witnessed a good one happen though. <laughs> I saw this dude in like an early 2000s Camaro and a guy in this like old fixed up Honda Civic start to race like idiots on a crowded street and whoop speed trap <laughs> so uh yeah that's what they get for being idiots if you have a fast car and you, you want to show off how fast your car is do it in a place where it's safe i mean i would have enjoyed watching you guys race honestly but i enjoyed watching you get pulled over honestly too i'm headed back home to get ready for actual work well friends Hanging out here at the mattress store, uploading today's video and my review of my shoes. I love these shoes. They were totally worth doing a review of. Good usage of my time. Talk about the shoes I love. I don't know, man. I think I might be getting sick. My, my throat was a little sore when I woke up and I kind of feel a little like body chills, achiness a little bit. It might just be that I woke up an hour, I woke up two hours earlier than I was planning on waking up and then ran up here, I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe I'm just sleepy. It's like, I'm not gonna tell YouTube that I don't feel good. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna verify it. But if you start saying that you're sick, you'll get sick. Hey, I should make a new vlog called Amanda Says and just tell you what Amanda says. I don't, I don't think she's wrong, but I'm feeling kind of crappy, my friends. I'm feeling kind of crappy. So I'm gonna hang out in this recliner. I'm gonna hang out in this recliner until my video's done uploading. Then I'm gonna go and put the end screen on and stuff like that. Do the YouTube stuff, the YouTube work. And then I'm gonna hang out in this recliner some more. I'm basically just hanging out in this recliner. That is that. So I'm definitely feeling a little bit like shit. We're gonna go to Kroger, get some groceries for the next couple of days. So Amanda and I, we just saw somebody we do here. And I was like, turn around quick. We totally avoided conversation at the grocery store. Just don't wanna to talk to anyone at the grocery store. The fashion Twilight Zone. Grocery store success. So Amanda is making a beautiful vegetable pasta right now. And I took some Dayquil. It's starting to kick in. There's Tylenol in there, or some kind of, you know, some kind of over-the-counter painkiller. But my my sore throat is my throat's been kind of sore all day. It's feeling a little better right this second. Where my windpipe connects to my throat, to my mouth, it all feels a little dry in there. It's a bad, kind of a bad feeling. I'm not getting sick. See that mental power there? Well, let's try the other side just for just for good measure. <laughs> Look at this. So in the meantime, while she makes that good food, I'm watching this crazy man. Which means you're part of Bo Star Crow. He's a funny guy. He's an Irish guy. He plays songs. He does funny videos. Oh, keep drinking. Those was really cute. 
Someday I'll catch the elusive noodles drinking. My mind feels real good. My throat feels medium bad. This side of my nostril areas, sinus stuff, not so good. And where my nose connects to the back of my throat does not feel good. Steam me up, Scotty. We have in our pasta carrots, red onions, squash, portobello mushrooms, little bell pepper, aroma tomatoes, chicken stock, salt pepper, and garlic. I'm about to run to go have a soft one there. In my whole life, I have never had one of these European style soft boiled eggs, I guess is what you call it. Not quite hard boiled with a little cup. I want one. I want an egg like that. I've never had an egg like that. I like to dip my toast in the egg, but I've never dipped it in a soft boiled egg, only just in a fried egg on the plate. Dog, these dogs are going wild. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep and see if I feel any better when I wake up. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.